All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to create the contact form and implement the Google map. So we're going to go right above the footer. We already put a comment here for the contact and we're going to use a section tag with the section class and also section dash contact. And let's also do center and let's do scroll spy. Now this also needs an ID since it's going to be using scroll spy and we'll say ID contact. Now inside here we need to place a div for the Google Maps. So I'm going to create a div with an ID of Google Maps. Okay, nothing's going to go inside of it, just that div there. And then we'll continue on with our container. And let's put a row. Now what I want is the form to be six columns wide, but I want it to be pushed over to the right. So we need to set an offset. So we're going to say call. Let's do S12 and then M6, but we also want to do an offset uh, M6. Okay, so six offset. And then in here we're going to put a card panel. And we're going to use a little bit of depth shadow. So let's do Z dash depth dash five. And then inside the card panel, we'll put an H4 and we'll say contact us under the H4. Let's put an input field. And this is going to be the name. So we'll say input. Uh, it's going to have type text. ID name. And let's do a placeholder of name. Okay, under that we'll have a label for name, and that'll say name. And then what I'll do is copy that input field div, and we'll do two, three, four. So the second one is going to be email. Whoops. So that'll be email. We'll do type email. And then this next one is going to be the phone. So let's say ID phone. Placeholder. Phone number. Label will be phone name. Uh, for attribute will also be phone. All right. And this last one here is actually going to be a text area. So I'm going to replace input type text with a text area. And remember, text areas need a special class of materialized dash text area. And then it also needs an ending tag. And then for the label, we'll say message. Message will change the placeholder. And let's change the ID as well. And there we go. All right, finally, we need our input our um, submit button. So that'll be input type submit value. We'll say submit, give it a class of BTN. And let's do blue dash gray and save and there's our there's our form so behind it is where the the google map is going to go now there's quite a bit of javascript we're going to need to bring in um, we're also going to need to bring in the google maps api script so we're going to go down to our script tags go right below the materialized script and above our custom script and then the source is going to be http and it's going to be maps.googleapis.com slash maps slash api slash js. So that'll bring in the, the API for us. All right, now there's quite a bit of JavaScript that we need to write, and I'm not going to explain every line because this isn't a JavaScript course. Um, there's plenty of snippets you can find for Google Maps. This is basically one of those. So we're just going to type this out. Um, now we're going to have two variables. 
One is going to be the position where we want our marker. The other is going to be the center position. Both are going to be around Boston Mass. If you want to change that, that's fine. Um, but it's going to be an array and it's going to have a latitude and longitude. So the latitude is going to be 42.36 um, 36.1145. And then the longitude is going to be negative 71 dot zero five seven zero eight three so that's the position and then the center position is going to be forty two dot three seven seven eight one five and then it's going to be negative seventy dot nine eight one one three three so those that's our positions. Now we're going to create a function called show Google Maps. And we're going to create a variable here called lat longe, so latitude longitude. We're going to set it equal to a new google.maps.lat long should be uppercase L, I believe. Should be like that. And then in here we want the position zero. So that's the, the latitude. That's going to be this number right here, the zero index of that array. And then we also want the, the longitude, which will be position one. OK, let me just close this up. So that's that. Um, and then we want the center la um, latitude and longitude. So I'm actually going to just copy this line and then change this to center lat longe. And again, we, we're going to do this Google Maps lat longe, except we're going to do our center position like that. OK, so now that we have those, let's create a variable called map options and set that to an object. And in here, we're going to set our options like our zoom level, which I'm going to set to 12 uh, street. So we can do st uh, street view control. We're going to set that to false. We don't want the street view control scale control. We'll go ahead and set that to true. And you can look at the Google Maps API docs if you want to look at all this stuff. Um, then we want the map type ID. And I want it to be a, a road map type thing. So we're going to say Google dot maps dot map type ID, which is right here. And it's going to be dot road map like that. And then the center position is going to be the center lat longe. Okay, so that's the options. Now we have to actually create the map. So we're going to have we're going to take that map variable, set it to new google.maps.map, and then we need to pass in where we want to put it. Now remember we had that ID of Google Maps. That's what we want. So we're going to say document dot get element by D and then Google Maps, I think was it was it all lowercase? Um, oh, it's so div ID, I guess just Google Map. So that's what we want to use Google Map. All right, and then we want another parameter with our map options. So that'll create the map. Now we want the marker. I guess I can comment this stuff. So this will be, we'll say create map, map options, map positions. All right, so show marker. So we're going to say marker 
equals new Google dot maps dot marker. I don't know why it's usually I, these should be uppercase. Okay, and this is going to take in an object and we're going to say the position of the marker, which is going to be our lat longe position, right? And then the map is going to be our map variable. And then we're going to say draggable. Okay, you can make your icon your markers draggable. I'm going to say false for that. And then animation I'm going to set to google.maps dot animation dot drop so it'll give that a little drop animation and then finally we need to add the event listener so it'll be google dot maps dot event dot and then we're going to add dom listener So add Dom listener to the window load and then we want to show Google Maps. So now what we need to do is add a little bit of CSS. Okay, make sure that this is saved. It's not going to show up yet because it needs to be treated kind of like how this primary overlay is. It's positioned absolute within its container and then it's 100% height and width. We want it to take up the whole section contact. So let's go to our CSS and let's say section contact because we need to set that to relative. So we'll set that to relative and then let's do our Google map. We want to set the position to absolute. We want to set the height to 100%, the width to 100%, top 0 and left 0. All right, and let's set the z index to zero as well. Z index is basically how close it is to you to the screen. Um, the the higher it is, the, the closer to you it is. So let's save that. And it still doesn't seem to be working. Whoops. Oh, there we go. All right. So we have the map. Now notice that the pan the card panel here has it's not showing because we need to basically up the in the Z index of that. So let's go right here and let's say section uh, contact card panel and we're going to position that relative and then we're going to set the Z index to one and save. So what that did is it moved it above the, the map because the map has a Z index of zero. And you can see we have our little marker here as well. And we can move this around too. All right, so that looks pretty good. So I think that's going to do it for this project, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And that's it. All right, so I will see you in the next one.